I hate GTA Online. Never has there been an opening like this in the entertainment industry. But what happened? Why don't I enjoy this game anymore? It's a video game that is shattering sales records. That is to say the least. There's a good chance the teenage gamers in your house may be, well, playing it as we speak. Well, let's go all the way back to 2013. Back when times were simpler. Roar by Katy Perry was the most popular song. Mr. Beast had 50 subscribers on YouTube. My entire life has been a failure. I hope I have a million subs. I better have a million subscribers when you guys see this. And GTA Online was released. It was extremely buggy, and most people couldn't even play. Oh, I'm so fucked. I'm so fucked. I'm so done! But I remember being one of the few who could. And that's where my addiction started. I spent many years grinding this game, and I loved it. I'm pretty sure I spent more time in this virtual sandbox than in real life. But one day, little Dezo loaded up his Xbox and joined a free roam session. I noticed everyone in the lobby was at the airport, which was kind of strange. Normally, everyone is scattered across the map doing their own thing. So I went to have a look and saw a hacker giving out money drops. Every player in the lobby was following this guy like he was some kind of god. I joined in and got given like a billion dollars or something. Just a stupid amount of money for free. I didn't have to do anything. And I think that's where I fell out of love with GTA Online. The thing that made the game so fun was grinding missions with the boys late at night, slowly working my way through the ranks. So after buying everything I wanted, I just stopped playing the game. I was done with GTA Online. I would try to jump on every now and then, but I'd just end up driving around the map until I eventually got bored. And it wasn't until 2022 that I decided to re-download the game and give it another try. But safe to say, a lot had changed over the years. There were now flying cars, flying bikes, new businesses, and so many more things. As a newish player, I felt very overwhelmed. And I think that's one of the biggest issues with GTA Online. It kind of sucks for new players. It feels very messy. Maybe I'm just an idiot, but I had no idea what was going on. It's great that Rockstar is still supporting this game with new DLCs and updates. It feels like Rockstar didn't expect the overwhelming success of GTA Online. And I think that's why it feels so messy. They didn't plan for it. <laughs> this is also why the story mode DLCs were canceled. They needed the resources for the online mode. But that's a topic for another day. Even if you've been playing the game for years and know Los Santos and Blaine County better than your own city, you still have to deal with the crazy amount of hackers. This issue isn't so bad on Xbox and PlayStation consoles, but on PC, the game is unplayable at times. On top of all this, Rockstar still uses peer-to-peer -peer connection. If you're unsure what that is, I won't go into it in this video, but it's the same thing old multiplayer games used to use back in the day, like Call of Duty or Halo. So pretty much, it's very easy for hackers to mess with you. A lot of GTA streamers can't even stream the game because of this issue. Why do you have to be such a loser, man? He's in a jet, too. He's in a freaking helicopter. Really? That's And that's the only way people can kill you, too. Hackers can literally force join your games and hit you offline. This still happens every day. I understand that GTA 5 is now over a decade old and was released on the Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3. But surely they could have fixed this for the Xbox One and PlayStation 4, right? Or the Xbox Series X and PlayStation 5. They had plenty of chances to fix this problem, but they didn't. Now let's be real. There's quite a lot wrong with GTA Online. And if I was to analyze every single problem, we would be here all day. So I'm just gonna list a few things that suck about this video game. Oppressor Mark II, we all hate this thing. I don't even need to explain why. Inflation is wild in GTA Online. Why is this police car over $5 million? Bad DLCs. Let's be honest. Most of the DLCs kind of suck. Bugs and glitches. It's insane how buggy GTA Online is now. Orbital Cannon. You're the biggest if you use this. Griefers. Normally, they're 12-year-olds with a vaping addiction, but they still kick my ass. You're probably expecting me to say shark cards, but honestly, I don't think they're that bad. I think they're kind of a good thing. Without shark cards, no way would Rockstar still be supporting GTA Online after 10 years. I totally get why people hate them. It's probably why GTA 6 has taken so long, but they're the only reason Rockstar still updates the game, and I don't think that's a bad thing. But yeah, you get the point. GTA Online isn't perfect, but that doesn't mean it's a bad game. I think overall, Rockstar just didn't expect the overwhelming success of GTA Online, and they just didn't plan for it. Hopefully, 
Rockstar can take all the good things from GTA 5 Online and put them in GTA 6 Online. Subscribe if you're new, like the video, all that good stuff, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care, everyone.